Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is a From the Depths campaign map. And uh, we finished the last episode with finishing off the White Flyers base. So we've got to do a bit of a clean up. Um, now, what we have is um, obviously our turtle fleet on, and the condor fleet who are nicely sitting there victorious on the remains of the uh, white flares home base can go and tidy up some of these squares um, a couple of big fights we've got we've got an interesting fight here which is actually quite uh, near this resource point uh, the, the vehicles that are there aren't really that useful but they might be able to provide some damage but we've got quite a few points in this area um, there's a uh, let's see let's, let's see if we can get them to show up come on come on over it there's a valves there uh, marrow pulper what we've got over here templar uh, a zealot so some some powerful ships here now what we've got is our carrier fleet now what would they do they're, they're not ideally suited to this particular um, group but we're gonna bring them in and the uh, Harriers that are there as well we're just gonna maximize all the uh, ships we can in that area and we'll see how they do uh, they might wander a little bit but uh, it should be okay um, let's just make sure that this is actually working yep uh, so we're going to push them into that area first and have a little battle and try and re relieve that area. Uh, might as well, just see what we can do on that. So we're just going to get them all into battle. Our carrier's got a, a reasonable force now, 28 speed is it managed to get up to. Right, so let's go down onto the carrier, if we can find the right square. No. Let me just zoom down and select it manually. There we go. So we will put ourselves on there. Uh, no, selecting the area. Bear with me. Not liking, you know, I, I, I don't like this interface. Oh, uh, no, and that's moved the whole group out to there. Hang on. Uh, you can't use your right, don't use your right mouse button on it in here, it's, it moves all of the group. Oh, now I've lost that, there we go. Uh, okay, CDAR, no, 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 carrier, where's the carrier, where's the carrier, there we go, right. We're in it, finally. I don't know if it's just me that gets that problem, I don't seem to see it on Scroats and a few other people, they seem to get through that menu. Maybe it's from the mode I'm running in, etc. I tend to run in Windows, a uh, windowed mode, it's better for um, uh, the recording software, but... Hey, that just maybe, maybe, just maybe me. Anyway, let's get this battle underway. So what we'll do is we'll bring our carrier in, and um, then potentially a few others. Um, some of them depend on what they spawn in. So let's have a look and see how what point force we've got for start. It's going to be looks like it's fairly even. Now, I'm going to bring in a sea dart at the beginning because they seem to have brought in a spike or two. So let's bring in one of those and we'll bring in a couple of these sea harriers. And I think there may well be a flying ray available somewhere. We might as well bring him in as well. Now, the resource fort and the recon balloon we won't bring in because they are of, of no particular value. Right, we've still got points available, so let's bring in the sea skewer, which is a, just a general um, all purpose ship. And I'm going to bring in one more sea dart because the sea darts are quite good. Okay, we're, 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 we're doing okay. Have we got. Uh, Let's go down and have a look at what they did bring in. So I think, let's see. They've, it's going to be quite a good battle, actually, this, because there's quite a few ships around, which is always interesting to see, rather than being a, all just a one-sided troop. Right, we've got that spike, uh, which is his aerial vehicle. Looks like that took a fair bit of damage, and some missiles going in there as well, which is a good to see. Um, our skewer is going down for an attack on this... Uh, vessel down here what have we got come in looks like we had a couple of their big ships did come in oh that's um, what is that let's go back is that the zealot let's have a look info 
that's the Templar. Okay, th and that's the something else. That's the Velas. Okay. So we've got some big ships in here, so it might be wise to bring in, say, a swordfish um, to take out some of those. Let's see if that will work. Let's go to the la our landing bay and see how our command carrier is doing. He's doing all right. Okay, let's bring in a swordfish. Okay, that's that's as much as we're going to get get to bring in. So it's a swordfish. So that's hopefully a swordfish. I do like the swordfish. Uh, they do quite well. Their, miss their torpedoes and missiles are quite good against the sea ships. Um, we'll see how they do in this combat. You can see that our vessel is, is reflecting some of the hits, but not all of them, um, which is good. Ooh, that's all. Actually, check what damage. Yeah, 99% damage. That's, that's okay. We've got quite a lot of um, damage potential capacity here. So as long as they don't hit something overly critical, we'll be okay. He says, as it starts to come down a little bit, but we're okay still. Oh, we've got one AI dead down there. Well, that seems to be 97 seconds he's got, so uh, I think it's because he's being partially repaired. So that Vels is giving our command carrier a fair bit of a, a damage, but the shields are doing their job, and the, uh, the, the wood's actually doing its job as well. It's just taking a few of those shots that get through. We had flares go out, and they did disrupt, disrupt some of the shots from the, uh, the, the spike that's down here. I'm really hoping our, our um, darts would take these spikes on. So where is our other ships? Where are our group? Let's see where everybody is. We've got some of them are attacking whatever it is over there. I don't know why that's being classed as primary, but they seem to be attacking it. I would prefer the shrike being, uh, the spike being hit, but it seems like, um, oh, our missiles are firing out, which is good. And we do have a dart coming in. This is one of our sea darts over here. He seems to be, um, not sure where he's going for, but uh, they both coming in, in for landing for some reason. Well, that one, that one's saying AI dead, so he's he's now out of it, and we have defensive missiles quite happily going in against this spike. So with any luck, our carrier is taking out the spike on his own. Oh, there's some. Oh, just short by the looks of it. Some of those are just running out of energy. You can just see the engine running out. They are close range uh, weapons, and the guns here. How, how's, our, how's our ship doing against this, this uh, Vels? Against the Vels, we're putting some good DACA down here. There is, he's putting some good DACA coming back up again though. Um, but our carrier... Oops, let's um, come here. Our carrier is down to 90%, so he's taken a lot of damage at the moment. Just hoping that some of our ships will come in and do some damage against his Vels. Because uh, at the moment it seems to be mainly the carrier that's doing the work. Uh, let's just check, we can't bring anything else in. Oh, we can bring in a Vulture. Let's bring in a, in a Vulture. And uh, another Sea Harrier. We might as well bring in what we can. Oh, and another Vulture. Let's, bring in, let's just bring in what we can at this moment. Uh, the more the ships, the merrier. So, oh, we seem to be taking some we're taking some serious damage on the underneath, but that is where our ammo is. We're repairing it. We're taking a taking a fair few hits on our carrier, but it is getting through. The other ships are repairing it as they are uh, they're nearby, so that's not a problem. Just make sure everyone's um, AIs are okay. Yep, that looks a-okay to me. 
So we're getting damages in, but uh, not as many as I would like against these various ships. The uh, Spikers is out of the water, which is good. So it's just this Vels, which has done a fair bit of damage. With his upward-facing cannons here, he does a lot of damage to uh, flying ships, which uh, obviously the cameo is. So uh, it's not handy when they're, they're, they're healing each other. We have got missiles coming in, although some of them seem to be missing a bit. Which is not all, no, not all of them. Yeah, they are coming in. The uh, sea skewer over there is taking off again. He must have taken some damage, which put him into the water. Um, now, some of our ships, unfortunately, are a bit... I, I had a look at the Sea Harrier, and it, it does, turn, does seem to turn okay. It just seems to go on long treks on occasion. Let's have a look, see if they, we've got anybody going on a long trek today. Yeah, see, he's, he's, is that a Sea Harrier over there? Sometimes they go on a little bit of a, a long wander. Like this one. Can't seem to collect, select him. It's, it's uh, stopping me selecting things. It's gone into... No, I didn't want to do that. Why, why has that done that? Why did that do that? There we go. See, this Sea Harrier has gone on a long wander, and I just don't know why. Same with this one. Uh, they do that, and I can't work out why. They are in combat. Uh, their turns on their AI is all correct, so... Well, well, they seem to go for targets which are nowhere near. Okay, the uh, Flying Ray, always a good little... Uh, um, ship the flying way. I've always been happy with that build. It was an early build I did and it seems to have oh nice big boom there. Screenshot worthy. That took the turret off of that valve I think. Just what we wanted to see. So where is our carrier? Is our carrier still surviving? Our carrier is repairing he is still alive. Um, he got down to a, a fair old. He's, they've taken off some of the turrets off the side by the looks of it. Um, we've got one left. Yeah, there's one there. That side took one hell of a beating. Uh, this side took a damage as well. Let's see if he's get, repairing himself. He's back to 93%. So uh, only bad side is he's in a bit of a slant so he's not stable at the moment now hopefully once he repairs himself he'll uh, come back to a stable and come back into the area so at the moment we've got to rely on our other ships uh, to continue this fight yeah that's okay because the carrier is not designed to do most of the attacking so i don't mind if he goes out of the area it's defensive. That was actually part of uh, my the design idea. I don't want him getting into the area if I can help it. Level up. Right, we've got another AI dead over there, which is cool. So we just got this Vels Stinger. Have we got anything else that's got to come in? Uh, well, if I put the interface on, we'll see if there's any red blocks. Well, we've got one item over there still got to come in so I'm not sure what that is over there possibly the Templar but we have oh, there's some big missiles coming into this Vels here the uh, that's obviously from the uh, vultures I think they do launch some large missiles they're mini condors basically oh lovely Vultures are, uh, yeah, just basically a mini condor, likes launching some very big missiles. That's possibly a, a zero point we went in somewhere. Let me just have a look, see if we've these guys are coming back. Yes, possibly this one up here we went into. Uh, they are turning around again, these two, I think. I'm not sure sometimes. Let's see if this, where's this one? Now, why can't I select him? There we go. Right, you come back here. Come back into the battle, please. And you, come back into the battle. Thank you. Right, they're coming back in. They're going to do some damage. Uh, oh, the AI dead on the Vels. 
So we should, once these tidy up, we should have the um, zealot coming in, I guess. Or, oh no, we got the stinger. It's the stinger. The stinger's also taken uh, two damaged. Okay, so we should have this last ship coming in soon. How's our our 96% on the carrier? So hopefully the carrier will be sorting itself out uh, relatively soon. Unfortunately, I'm doing uh, uh, another change I would like to make at some point, must make a note of it, is have a look at alternative AIs for the uh, thing. Oh, there's that uh, Templar who's going after our carrier, and the other ships are going to be coming after him. Hopefully. Now, has the carrier replaced any of its guns yet? He's got a very nasty gun, is this Templar, although he can't aim up. Which seems to be a bit of a problem for him. And a bit of luck for us. Now, our carrier's got a bit of a uh, problem. We'll go on to the carrier and see what weapons he's got. Oh, he's, he's, he's uh, got a couple of weapons there. Although he's going a bit far out there and he's repairing the others. And here comes the dart. The dart is coming into the rescue, firing his missiles. We're just going to st stay on the on the command carrier, I think, because uh, he's the main ship. Have we got anyone else left to uh, bring in, actually? Uh, Swordfish and the Sea Harrier. Why, why not? Might as well bring them in. More the merrier. Oh, we seem to have uh, either come in or gone out of the area. I, I, get, I get lost at times. Um, but, okay, we've got some... Let's see where this Templar's going next. Come on. Come on if you think you're hard enough. He actually is, but, um, you know, luckily he hasn't got an 80 degree gun by the looks of it. His gun only looks like 45 degrees, which is somewhat luck. Sea Raid fired a little late. Oh, he took out... Uh, What's that? Oh, that's a Harrier. Oh, we took out a Harrier. That Harrier got taken out, something serious. We're launching flares at something. I didn't think the Templar had any rockets, but he must have fired a few rockets in here. And um, let's just go past here, see if those rockets impact with him. So it's one of these fast ships where we've just got to get enough hits on the um, engines on the back. And then with any luck, we should be okay, he says. Our carrier is still re rebuilding. Now his guns are rebuilt now. Uh, we'll see if they get some, able to get some damage in. Let's just check our, our thing. Yeah, we're up to 100% again, so that's fine. We, our guns will fire when, when available. Our other ships are heading in that way. Let's see if we've got any uh, hits from any of the... Uh, the rays going to be a bit late, I think, with his firing. Yeah, it's not getting low enough, really. I don't think, yeah, it's a little, little late, mate. Little late. Right, he's coming back in. Have we got anyone else firing in? We've got the darts. Uh, they're a little high. Right, let's see if our guns actually decide to go and fire? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, have we got anybody? Is there any reason for that? Where's the carrier? It's on. I think it was just that he's a bit fast. They didn't get in range. Oh, they're in range now. There we go. And the other side guns should fire as well. They're, it's because you can see how far they're having to fire ahead to try and predict where he's going to be. So that's putting it too far out of range, effectively, I think. Um, hmm. Possibly a little... on um, in-battle change, I think, required to the ranging of the guns. Let's quickly go for that, if I can find what I did with them. So they should be in the centre here. Let's see just in here somewhere. 
It's in here somewhere. There we go. Right, so let's move that up to 650 then. I had moved them down originally because they were firing unnecessarily. But I think we'll move these up, especially the fast firing ones anyway, up to a little bit closer. We'll, we'll leave the, the, the heavy shots, but we'll move these other two. Is that one? No, I think we'll go forward one more. These ones here. We'll put these up to 650. See if they will just attack a little earlier. Just in time for him coming back again. Right, F9. Let's come back in. We're taking a bit of damage from him. Where is he coming in? There he is. Coming in. Come on, guns fire this time. Go on. Aiming. They're aiming. They're turning. They're getting a few shots in this side. Now about this side. This side is ready and they are also firing now. We'll ignore that. That's from going in and out of the uh, zones. So, has anyone actually managed to catch up with him yet? Um, it doesn't even look like our, our high-speed darts are catching up with him at the moment. He's just... How, how fast is he? Let's have a look. Um, if I go here, I'll do the, the old Q info. 80, 80s, 86 I saw there. 80s. I think that's faster than our planes. 90s. Hmm. Something wrong with the, the physics model when a when a ship goes 92 and our planes can only go about 80. Uh, without, you know, a, a bigger ship like that can go 92, and our planes, uh, which are fairly streamlined, can only go uh, 80. Uh, but hey ho, there they go. What, what what is that over there? Is that the uh, two darts coming back in? Yeah, the darts are coming back in. Um, they are quite fast, but obviously not fast. And, and it's not only fast; it's very manoeuvrable. Um, hmm. Interesting. It's a very good use of the physics model. Could do the same myself, I suppose. But it's, uh, I don't know, it's not a problem. I, don't know. I, I had my issues with it, but um, it's a very good use of the what you can do in the game necessarily well I suppose it's the spirit of the game I wouldn't always that's why I sometimes don't agree with it it's not necessarily in the, in the spirit of things um, which is as important as as winning it's um, doing things in the right way oh we've got some shots coming in nicely now will some of these missiles finally hit I did say at the beginning this one would be a difficult um, vessel. They're trying to adjust, but I think they're all running out of energy. Just as they're going to hit. Yeah, they're all running out. Not going to quite make it, unfortunately. Uh, the two darts are trying to catch up and fire. They have got some high-speed missiles. They are designed for attacking high speed, but they're mainly air vehicles. Um, but obviously not this higher speed. He has got a custom jet, I think, in this. Maybe two. Is there a couple of custom jets? Yes, I haven't really worked, done the custom jets myself yet. Um, now, l luckily, all you've got to do is damage those custom jets, and he should that should damage um, render him not inoperable, but he'll have start having problems if we get the, the jet on him. I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, nice design. I like like the, the, the shape and the uh, colorization he's done that's been done on this. Right, something's just blowing up somewhere. I'm not sure where. Is it the carrier? Let's go and have a look at the carrier. No, the carrier's fine. The carrier's doing its firing thing. Trying to get a few shots in there with its, its guns, best it can. Are any of those hitting? A little bit, but not enough to, to really do it damage. 
Okay, have we got anything else that we could bring in to attack this? Um, right, it's been going on a little while now, so it's just going to be a matter of time. Um, I may, if we don't do it in the next little while, I'll um, hold it and bring it, you know, wait until we do actually finally hit it in some way. So.
Okay, finally we get a lucky shot on him. Um, and he seems to be um, saying he's damaged. So it's just taken, oh, I don't know what that was, 20 minutes or so. Uh, I don't know what, how long I'll cut that video for or uh, speed it up. But it's taken 20 minutes to finally do enough damage on him uh, to take him out. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think I, I spawned in a sea gannet. Um, and I don't know if it was him. They seem to be quite good against these fast, low-flying ships. Uh, and now that he's there, the sea carrier can um, rain some shots down on him. But it took a well, that took some time. Um, in general, uh, that took a, a fair bit of time to to to, to take that one out. Um, unfortunately. We'll go down there just to have a quick look at the remains. Oh, he's already got, got Didn't even get a good screenshot. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Um, right, so, uh, okay, that's, we finally did that. We were in and out of the different zones, so I don't know actually where we've ended up, actually, here. Again, we travelled into various zones. I think you'll see that in some of the areas and the ships went all over trying to chase him and be chased by him um, so we'll just get all of our ships back again if we can uh, obviously our some of our ships sh ships will now redock with the command uh, carrier uh, which is ideal which is uh, the whole idea of it so they'll come and come back and dock with the ship the the primary fleet and there's a couple of other ships which are new to the fleet um, there's an extra sea gannet now. I think if I go into here, we should see there's... Oh, a sea skewer, sea gannet. Okay, so the sea gannet may have been the, the one that I needed. I uh, spawned it in in battle. And this is what I want the system to do automatically. As I, as I say, there is a bug at the moment with the um, spawn system in that it immediately spawns in rather than waiting for the particular situation from the control block but that's something that needs to be sorted out in the game okay all of our, our ships are coming back uh, to get healed etc uh, let's just have a quick check if there's so one swordfish needs to be healed he'll get healed as he gets close we'll take out some of these guys uh, now they're not needed uh, the ones that are all healed up so it's just this one and as he comes in he should get a nice bit of healing he'll go totally yeah now why the hell are you giving him a shove up the arse you know um, no that's just stupid why are you doing that yeah docking as well is just really bad docking is not working it doesn't make sense uh, you know when you're getting things like this happening it's not really making much sense um, I'll must be put a bug requesting for that I think as well um, right we're gonna call it there because that was um, it's been an hour uh, since I started that one and I will now oops let's go back to the map so I'll just say what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just use the other fleet just to clean up these offline not gonna do them in battle I just thought I did that this battle because it'd be interesting to see how the command carrier worked uh, down here, the Aquanautic fleet, I will get them to clean up these areas offline and wait until we're at this 184, and then I will uh, do a video of that, that one. So, um, yeah, so this has just been one battle on here, This uh, unfortunately against this Templar, which decided to run around, um, and we had to end up chasing him like, it was like a Benny Hill show. Um, so if you know what Benny Hill show is like. Anyway, um, yeah, for now, please click that like and uh, subscribe button. Um, I will see you soon in game. Until next time, have fun.